Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today I'll show you how you can customize your WordPress admin dashboard menu and make it more convenient to use. When you have lots of post types and installed plugins, your menu may look disorganized. Some of the items you will use just once or twice. Let's fix it by installing a plugin called Admin Menu Editor. Here it is. Click on the Install Now button and then activate it. Once activated, you can go to the Settings from the Plugins menu or you can find it under the Settings menu editor. You will see four tabs. The first one is the Admin Menu tab. Here you can customize your dashboard menu. The second one is redirects. You can put redirects from different users and their roles for where they are headed when they are logged in, logged out, registered or first signed in. The third tab is plugins. Here you can show or hide plugins from other users. Just click edit and change its visibility. And the last tab is settings. Here you can set plugin permissions, enable modules, change color schemes, customize some settings related to other plugins, etc. Once done, click Save Changes. OK, let's go ahead and check how we can customize our dashboard menu items. Here we have an exact copy of our left side panel with its items and even separators. On the top of the screen we have a toolbar. Here's what we can do with the items. Cut, copy, paste, add new, hide items, delete them, and sort by name. And we have the same toolbar for submenus. Then you can save changes, undo them, and set a default WordPress menu. Let's start with dragging the theme panel to the top. Then we may want to hide some of the items from our menu to make it short and nice. I will quickly go through the menu and rearrange it a bit. We'll move the important things up and hide those items that I don't need. I also can move the separator to visually divide my menu. And let's create a brand new menu item. For example, I don't really need the entire analytic module, but I want to have a product performance report handy. So I will copy the URL, then we'll click on Add New Menu tool, Drag it to the top, rename it, and paste the URL. I will also click on the More options and choose a nice icon for it. OK, I'm done with the changes. Let's save them and see what we got. I will refresh the dashboard page. Perfect. My menu looks nice. I have only those items that I need. And I can always go back to the menu editor and customize it. If I want to make the item visible again, I just click on it, click on the visibility tool and save the changes. Hope this video was helpful, please subscribe for more useful tutorials.